Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, Carla was late. Sorry. <laughs> I was playing games. I can take it. Uh, JK, JK. Thanks for joining us, honestly. I know you're very busy while you're here, so appreciate your time. Thank you. Uh, Glenn is also with us. Hey, I'm here. From, from the beautiful... What, what do you do, Glenn? Tell, tell us what you do. I'm retired, but when, <laughs> I, but when I'm not doing that, I... I uh, have uh, a little YouTube uh, and a Twitter. And you, YouTube and Twitter, Twitter, you say? I have Twitter. both of these things. What are those? At the same time. Uh, well, okay. One is my YouTube, mm -hmm. and uh, I love to talk to everybody, so go to at Games and Bourbon. That's my uh, Twitter, and okay. I love talking to everyone. And I like talking to you, too. He talks a lot. I do. Sometimes, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, sometimes it's not gibberish, most of the time. Most of the time, it's not about ovens. Uh, I interviewed Elizabeth Hargrave who made Wingspan. That's right. You're... And I forgot to ask her about her game. <laughs> so we just talked about her oven in one of the videos. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Sometimes ovens are kind of cool. They're so cool. Her <laughs> oven especially. Yo, watch that video. That's great. <laughs> yo, yo, watch the video. Yeah. Yo. 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 But listen, it's not about me or my ineptitude at interviewing. You can turn it this way too. I just realized this, the camera's flipped, Whoa, so you can actually turn it this flipped. way. Yeah, so we can look That's at helpful, it normally. Actually, for yeah. us. Yeah. Anyway, cameras, they work in a certain way. Woo! Uh, so Nick didn't join us for this because he hates me. Mm -hmm. uh, and but uh, he probably didn't want to tell him. I think I didn't tell him. I was just like, I, I gotta go, and I ran. Mm. And uh, then he probably has no idea where right. I was. I was hoping to get some like really great information from Nick. You can't know. I know. All the secrets are safe with me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So, <laughs> so I guess let's start out. Um, you've been coming to Unpub for a while, right? This is my second. Second year. So same yeah. as me. That's two years ago. Yeah, it's a wow. while-ish, right? Um, tell me about your experience with Unpub. Uh, like, what what do you feel... Uh, are, are the great things that it, it provides for you as a designer? Um, so I get to play test a lot, mm -hmm. like a lot. Like, so I haven't even gotten to my designer block yet. Play, that's well, true. You play test other people's games, not your own. Oh, I've been, I've played some of my own too. Oh, okay. Um, and so I work with other people and I sign other people's games sometimes. Right. And I've gotten to just sit down and play their games and we've iterated, iterated like so much on mm -hmm. their games. Um, but I've also like like outside the box mm -hmm. people oh play gosh. games all day yep. long they, and we talk do. design all night and long sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like I go to bed like I actually last night I went to bed at like midnight or one or yeah, one yeah, or around there. Yeah. Uh, and it's not my usual. <laughs> but like just getting to talk about games, like I have made a lot of just progress. Like yeah. so much progress. I had to reprint um yesterday and recut and Hopefully I don't have to do that wow. tonight, but maybe like, I mean, if I do, that means that I made a lot more progress. Correct. Um, what, what, what game was that for? Oh, uh, that was for the Fire in the Library expansion. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. So we go. the Ooh. decision that was made yesterday is that it's going to be <laughs> modular. Like, um, have you played the Splendor expansion? Uh, uh, no. No, I haven't. Actually, haven't played it either. Okay, <laughs> but it works like it's that. A good comparison. <laughs> yeah. Um, no. So the thing I do know about it, I've been taught about it. Um, but it has modular things like, oh, you could play with this, or you could play with that, or you can play right. with this. So right. you have like three different mini expansions in there, and that's what I'm going to do for Fire in the Library. Smart. Are they compatible, or one at a time, or all of it? I'm going to figure that out tonight. Oh, cool. Ooh, um, okay. I think you should probably play with one and learn the one mm -hmm. and then learn the other and then right. play them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the biggest danger with that, I think, uh, when you talk about modular expansion, so like, sort of like Dominion. Um, Dominion always did, because I'm a big Dominion fan, but there's a certain point where they you got added... three crates of cards, and you're like, where do I start? Right, yeah. <laughs> well, I, it's not going to be that, that big. <laughs> and, 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 and the different rules for each module, uh, like if you can split them in together, but then you're working out of like seven rule books and trying to remember and recall. <laughs> Smash Up has the same issue, right? When, when you get the expansion, and right. then it's like... all. It, to do anything, yeah, you have to go to that extra pamphlet, right. and then it, and then it, you're just putting it like you it, found the whole, like yeah. the lost sea scrolls, <laughs> and you're trying to like read you it together. Table rules, yeah, table for the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah. yeah. You get one from all the pages over, so you <laughs> yeah. can't keep up with. Why what? doesn't the expansion just have the original plus the new? Or it's like, so simple. or on their site, uh, a, a rule of reference that 
kind of encapsulates all the core just of each of the expansions easy. into like a snapshot yeah. of like yeah, really everything. Just a PDF. Don't right. be, yeah, exactly. don't don't PDF. be yeah. the lazy splendor is what we're saying. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Do you <laughs> like splendor or uh, Century Road better? Uh, I've never played Century Road. What? I've never played Century right? Road. Aren't they similar? I've only ever played people Splendor. People compare them. I like uh, Century more. I like Century, but I get angry that it's not like mathematical. Like, mm. so there are mm. cards that are better. Mm -hmm. If you know that and yeah. other people don't, you will win. You get the resource cards, and then you can. Well, there's really um. Well. So the What's if you it? map out like put yeah. numbers to the different cubes, mm -hmm. there's cards that are just this is straight up better than that card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just don't like that because oh. like I want to lose because I chose a bad strategy, not because I didn't do draw. all the math for every card. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of. Skip because it, it, this triggered something in my head. Uh, there's a lot of hype, and I shouldn't say hype; it's legitimate. Uh, Root is, is one of the games uh, that's also been semi compared to Villainous with Disney with the asymmetric components. Uh, how do you feel about games like that? Because uh, my feeling is that if I can't sit down and just play a game for what it is at the table that moment, I have to go through like 20 sessions to be able to learn the inside strategy. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really enjoying that for multiple reasons. For myself, but also for, if I'm teaching my friends, I have to get them in 20 or so games before they understand the asymmetric, like why mm. what I'm doing is bad for them. Do you know what I mean? Like if yeah. you sit down for the first game with that and you teach everybody the basic rules, they still don't really know how to play because they don't know what my asymmetric powers could do without mm -hmm. that innate experience. What, what are your thoughts on that? So I like Vast, but mm -hmm. how many times have I played Vast? Okay. It's like that because like, Every time you teach fast or root to somebody, you're like, okay, I'm going to teach you how to play your player. Then I'm going to try to remember mm. how to play my player. Oh, then I'll Jesus. teach you. Right. Then I'll teach you. Yeah. Do you remember how to play the game? <laughs> no, because yeah. I just listened to how he plays the game. <laughs> yeah. and now I, and now I like, play. Okay, so let's recap on how you play the game. <laughs> and, do, and you do. And okay, let's play again. What do I do on my turn? I just read like five different. It, exactly, <laughs> and it's not, and it's not that I, it's not that I don't like. I, I'm not knocking the game because it, it, there's different structure, different folks, right? Yeah. And there's people that absolutely love that type of game right. because they're in it for that mm -hmm. month to three month like constant playing to to hammer out the strategy, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's fine. But it's, I think it's 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 great that it's it's done so well in the environment of like the new that's happening right now, because yeah. that's a testament to the game as well, right. uh, and other games like it because. You don't get to sit with a lot of games for three months, right now. Well, I right? think us uh, as players oh, yeah. are probably right. different. Yeah. Um, and then, like, so when I play a game, it's probably a brand new game to mm -hmm. me, and maybe I'll play it again, mm -hmm. but I'll probably play another brand new game and right. another mm -hmm. brand new mm -hmm. game. Mm -hmm. Um, like when you're a reviewer, or a publisher, yeah. designer, like you get the most out of like playing a variety of yeah. games. You're you're increasing your vocabulary. It helps you see extra design, and you can extrapolate from that design and. Try to weave it into what you're building. Mm. Like, it's like I'm playing a new game called "What Does This Rule Book Say?" Yeah. <laughs> and all I'm doing is like trying to make sense out of this thing. Yeah, that you're back in no one's class, class trying to like yeah. comprehend what's happening here. Like, ugh, I do not something. like uh, asymmetric play, and I'll tell you yeah, why. Go ahead. I don't mind if it's something very superficial where you can kind of get right away, like. Uh, one of the games I love that doesn't get reviewed well is Sailing Towards Osiris. I yeah. love this game. You're building along the river, trying mm -hmm. to become the next pharaoh. And it might have a little thing like, you get two iron. Or whatever. You, yeah. you <laughs> get a stick up your butt. Whatever the <laughs> yeah. whatever the, the power might be. That's, in, that, that's part of the rules right there. Yeah, well, stick, that that yeah. was, I wrote that in. But, <laughs> house rule. Yeah, yeah, yeah house rule. That's house what rule. corrected Got the it. gameplay. Got it. But... Uh, <laughs> That's fine, but when yeah. I, I have some games, and I can't think what they are now, where everyone's character uh, not only has their own secret missions right. and their own powers. Win conditions, everything. Yeah. It just is like simultaneous solitaire. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and occasionally you might accidentally interfere with the other person, but you have totally different objectives. Yeah. We just happen to be doing our same are different objectives in the same two foot space. Right. And I don't even, that's not even why I play games at mm -hmm. that point. How can right. I even say you actually beat me? We had totally different right, goals. Yes. Right. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. And, and I think, you're, cause, and you're right, I think some of the reason some of these games do better, uh, there are those different environments. So somebody, some people like to not talk yeah. during the game play. Yeah, like some are just there to play the game and win mm -hmm. and just have that really competitive spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm the kind of player that 
I want a game that's that's medium because I can actually have a conversation with my friends yeah. while we're playing the game. Yeah. I hate games where nobody's talking yeah. because they're so frozen in AP right. that you're afraid you're going to mess up somebody else's plans by right. buttering a war. And that what Matt Leacock said, get better friends. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's when they're cheating and stuff. Yeah. But yeah. Like, it I applies. Guess. Get the well, right friends. Get, um, get the right friends. friends. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at this point, I'm like the same way where I, I really like the, the lighter, medium weight right. games. Well, that's mostly because I use my brain a lot. Yeah. And at the right. end of the day, you want can that. I handle like a big two hour? Like, She's like, I'm up to using my brain like once every three days. <laughs> like, it's like, a so lot. I want to relax. Really use my brain. A lot. Right. I want to just have fun and talk and not like worry like too much. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I don't need to like I don't want to play a game where I have to think for a full five minutes on what I'm going to do on yeah. my turn. Plus, you've played so many games. Honestly, we probably all have. You played so many games that what would paralyze a newbie mm -hmm. is just like water running yeah. for like. <laughs> At this point, for what we do, so you, I mean, right. your gameplay is probably up there anyway. What you consider medium? That's is probably like, that's probably yeah. true. Uh, yeah, that's. That, I think I would. I would agree with that. I'm. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm talking. No, no it's so. okay. And, and you know, this is this is what we do here. There's a lot of conversation. But do, would you like to transition to talk about uh, Big Easy uh, Busking sure, for a little bit? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, so I guess we can sort of touch on. You did launch. Yes. A, uh, was that a month or two ago? Something like that. Something like that. What happened? Uh, I ended up canceling. Um, the campaign wasn't um, going exactly as I had hoped. Right. And there was things about the art that isn't great. Okay. Um, currently or then? Currently. Um, it's going to be fixed soon. I was actually talking with someone today about um, giving them the files and getting it fixed. Okay. Because it needs to be fixed. Um, as a musician. Yeah. What is wrong with this? Uh, Dave, do you want to transition uh, over to? Oh, like the, yeah, the, sorry, the Dave, notes are facing the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. And so, like, how am I going to appeal to musicians if they think I don't know how notes work? <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Plus the four. Well, you know, this is artistic freedom, right? The, this the stack also has, uh, you know, you're not going to spell, uh, you know, faces in the spaces on that one, yeah, you know, but. Yeah, but okay, yeah. I see. And there's like other things on these cards, and like on the well, I wanted all different player cards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and we put some work into that, but I don't think that's actually going to pan out because okay. sometimes things don't work like you want them to. Sure. Um, right. but like also with the box, like yeah, there's some. See. Uh, well, this is also a really beat up prototype I've brought like literally across the country several mm -hmm. times. Um, <laughs> but other than that, like one of the things that's weird about it is like the corners don't match up. Mm -hmm. And that was... Yeah, you don't want to give that to your Kickstarters. Yeah. So yeah. I want, like, mm -hmm. I tried to give my Kickstarter backers something really high quality nice. and correct and like that was a no-go like this box like another thing things. you don't know is in this box uh she used it she reused it because it used to carry just a lot of blue cheese mm. you can't blue. smell that yeah. i guess yeah. old blue cheese okay. boxes don't make it bad uh, <laughs> <laughs> just trying that so, like, why don't i invite glenn i, I mean was... <laughs> there's so many issues as soon as i appear anywhere uh, but hopefully by april 30th which is the kickstarter date yeah all the art will be fixed and ready to go. Box will be fixed. Okay. Um, I'm also um, testing out um, actually here right. a bunch of new um, song cards and stuff like that to give exclusive stuff That's to right. people that sign up. Yeah. I think the art's great, by the way. It's very vivid. Yeah, it is. Oh, I, I think one of the things one of the feedback probably. things was too. Is sometimes the iconography was lost in some of the art. Well, was that one of the yeah, I want to make the um, so theme background. The uh, you're actually right okay. up here, but yes. they could see it either right here yes. or right here. Yeah. So. So like these cards, I want to do something like um, there is an artistic word. I'm not I'm not one for artistic pop. words. You want to make it pop? Yeah, we're gonna make it pop, and there's gonna be maybe like a ribbon or something behind the numbers oh, okay. and the. That's thing actually yeah, that's very smart. To make it just come out a little more. Yeah. Um, just so you can see it because like. Right. Too busy. Like yeah, it is a bit like the the background's busy and you can see it, but it can be better, and we want to make it like really good because yeah. right. like I mean, good isn't. Good enough. Right. right. And, when, and you know, I talk to I talk to designers a lot, and, and and this is what I respect about what happened with your campaign is that you realized early on that there was something that needed to be fixed, and you wouldn't be able to do it within the time 
frame that you set originally with your planning. Mm -hmm. And you stepped away and took the time out of respect for the people that were going to back it uh, and, and really went to fix it. And I think that's an important distinction uh, because there's other people out there that wouldn't do that. And they would try to fix it in the months following and then say, you know, oh, well, you know, I'm sure I'll be able to deliver it on time. And then things fall apart. I appreciate and respect the fact that you stepped away from it and, and wanted to really realign your timeline and come up with a plan that was going to be best for the people that are fans of Weird Giraffe already. Mm -hmm. and that's big. It's big. So not only that, I can tell you the fact that you care about it. Like, for, I will tell you, I, I, my dream was to be a painter. Not a musician, that was my fallback. Yeah. But when I look at this, this was, I love what I'm looking at here. I don't think it even matters. Don't worry about it. No one cares. I think I think it's there for, like you said, the artistic. Yeah. Yeah. With it that, has, you know, just it to has add to zeal. It, it yeah. has okay. uh, an ephemeral uh, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> I do like the color scheme of it, too. And I'm with you with the... Uh, yeah, the the and bottom. what's great, though, is that you do care and you do want to do it right. right. And I'm not just, you know, saying that to blow smoke. But I can't tell you how many people, you know, games always come in the door and they want us to talk about it, right? Right, right. And they'll come and the instructions aren't even done. Yeah. What are you selling somebody? You yeah. don't even know how yeah. it plays. Right. You or know? You tell other people. Yeah. But... Anyway, so anyway, yes, kudos. Yeah. yeah. Um, so how do how do we play? How do we play okay. Big Easy Bus Games? the rundown. Okay. Yep. So the first night of Big Easy Busking is a Thursday night, and there's only three crowds out there. Okay. Um, the important part of the crowds. So this I is this is not Nolan. Yeah. Nolan. Yeah. Yeah. We are trying to be the most we are, successful we are, uh, performers. We're on on one of the various streets in Nolans with uh, we're trying to <laughs> trying to busk. Oh, I forget. It's Royal. We're Street. trying to bus. Royal It's Street. Royal Street. Yes. Royal. We are on Royal Street. In New Orleans. Uh, Nolans. Mm -hmm. And we'll busking is basically just trying, trying to make the money outside the room. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's, it, that's stop. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, there you go. That's, so that's, these yeah. come together to form a picture. They do. They oh, do. they don't line up completely, but sometimes, as I say, art happens. Art, ha <laughs> art happens. <laughs> I mean, but this lines up for me because like I actually only had half pennies. Oh, there you go. See? Yeah. yeah, there you go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. A <laughs> hey, penny. Yeah, <laughs> I get a pen. <laughs> So, mm. first the crowds. Mm -hmm. um, three different crowds. The important parts are um, in this corner. Mm -hmm. um, this means that the person with the most energy on this crowd gets five dollars. The this crowd sim symbolizes the most energy. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you have at least four energy on this crowd, you get three dollars. Okay. Um, and these are all different. Like this one, the most gets four. The most gets three here. Mm -hmm. um, you only need two here and three here. So okay. all these are different, and you can't quite know what will come out because there's more than you actually use in the game. Perfect. Yep. Um, so sometimes you get the the people that have a lot of money that are just willing to throw it at you. Right. And sometimes you do not. Yeah. Um, you get some scroungers. So you have to earn your yeah. beads. Yes. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so another beads. part of these crowds is um, you randomly like. So these are all the same on the back, and you just distribute the moods to them okay so this is the chill crowd chill crowd uh, this is romantic oh and this is the wild they like everything <laughs> the wild crowd it's the party yeah. the wild crowd in new orleans okay. that's yeah. why they're giving the most money <laughs> does, does anyone know why this is uh used so frequently down there literally it's uh it's like a french, french symbol yeah. and it used to be french it's french yeah Excuse there's me. a lot of yeah. french it's like, territory there. there yeah i heard the word creole Cre yes. yeah. that came yeah. from uh the mixing of the French and then like the native populace. Yeah, and I heard Cajun, right? Was yeah. was a I don't know if this is true, but I read this one time that it was a when the Canadians came down, the word got kind of bastardized, it became Cajun instead of Canadian. And really? That's, the, the Canadian that French interesting. French came down and that's that what it was. Sense, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll have to double go. check that. I remember that's reading that somewhere. Interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting. True or not. I like it. Let's just, yeah. let's just, just, like, nice honestly, yeah. Yeah. the biggest draw for New Orleans is that cultural blending, uh, and that so sort of much, has yeah. lived to modern day. Because you know, mm -hmm. in other areas of the country, uh, some of that was just flushed out as as, as the populace sort of right. homogenized, right? But mm -hmm. New Orleans was able to sort of keep that right. that unique. New Orleans and Carla were able to <laughs> yeah. keep it correct. Carla yeah. just living, keeping it going with the Easy yeah. Busking. So, yeah. awesome. I suppose. Hopefully, it'll teach <laughs> people. So. There's yeah. actually, um, I learned a lot by sending this game out to different reviewers around the country okay. because they did not understand, like, I didn't really explain, like, why is there a mask? Why the is symbols. there a floor? 
Like I, I said what it was, why and they're like, beads? why is beads a mood? And I was like, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> what? You don't know about Mardi Gras and the beads and the mask and the Florida de Lis? Yeah. Like, yeah. What? So like, yeah, some of the reviews make it seem like they're like, there's no theme to this game. There's random icons. Oh. I don't oh. understand. Oh. But that's no, that's no fault oh, yeah. of yours. You need to have yeah, cult, but... cultural context. Yeah. Yeah. Some basic you have to... understanding. Like, of society. If you were confused, yeah. why would you not try and like say, why is this here? Like you see Big Easy, you know, New Orleans. Yeah, but you why know, would you but, not but like, that's oh, the thing. I think I think it's the like, heart of what you're saying is like not everybody that Big Easy might not they might understand that Big Easy is New Orleans. I mean, well, and I like do, so but, I put uh, some uh, information in the rules. Right. But also that like do does everyone actually read that like first like no, this is the wrong right. reviewers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. Now, you are doing the, the exact wrong Orleans. thing though, because as a designer, she's doing the right thing, and she is she is looking at that in a perspective where if so, if I get enough people saying it, mm -hmm. then something's actually wrong with my design. You're going from the, the point yeah, but, that you're doing you're you're reviewing this wrong, you gotta and that's get, not true. You get, can't you can't do that as a designer. Get it, you need to get it in the hands of the people who get it. Oh, I did. It's, it's not like, for the like, ones who don't. Yeah. was like, yeah, this is great. It yeah. feels like uh, down, like going nothing down. Nothing about Castle White Neck. Yeah, like, 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 not like, not my yeah, problem. Yeah, they so get like, it. Yeah, the New it. Orleans problems, like, like, so it's really weird. If you read like yeah. different reviews, some people are like, whoa, this is so thematic. Mm -hmm. And other people are like, gosh, this is dry. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Well, like, yeah. Um, yeah. because it has the music part to it that's thematic and it has the New Orleans icons and stuff like that. But if you don't understand that, right. oh yeah, this is like all the illustration is done in a New Orleans style. Right. Like if you look at New Orleans art, it's like it's so bright it and colorful yeah, like this. Well, but if you don't know that, right. so like I plan to put a lot more in the rule book or have like a side rule book right. of like, let's talk about New Orleans and why it's yeah. cool and different. Get better friends, <laughs> better reviewers. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Whole, uh, just, just, just. Give it one big target audience that, like, 15 people, if they love it, that's all you need. And they're all in this room. <laughs> if, if this supplement doesn't work, just go that route. Yeah. yeah. But, like, it was so cool, like, because I've played this with people from New Orleans, and yeah. they're like, I know where that is. And I was like, yeah. that's, yes, that's awesome. It's based on a real location. That's I want, awesome. um, I do have stretch goals in mind to get, like, even more art. Mm -hmm. To get, like, and I've been doing, like, a lot of research and Googling Good. on, like, what locations I want to happen mm -hmm. there. Like, I want to have, like, the cathedral, because, like, mm -hmm. it just looks fantastic yeah. Yeah. it's one of those iconic locations absolutely so like if you know new orleans you'll think you might think like oh yeah this is super new orleans but if you don't it, right you might, like just That's be like why is it so colorful it just blows my I mind how do you not like no New Orleans. Or Mardi Gras. I did, 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 did. Exactly. Especially. Like, like it just these so... are Mardi Gras colors. Like, I was yeah. like, I'm what? I'm not trying to be like snobby, but like that just blows my mind. Like, How, how you, could you not like, know? How are you right. ignorant it's of like, New Orleans? King King. Well, I mean, like, it's like King King. It's pearls before swine. Right. Really is what it, what it boils down to. It's, it's like presenting a masterpiece novel right. to someone very, who's like, very true. they're like, hey, what was the last thing you read? And they're right. like, a coloring book. You know, they're not well, gonna, well, guys, like, we love you it, all, and yeah. you're all no, yeah. wonderfully Even if informed you don't consumers, know New Orleans, guys. That's yeah. fine. I'm gonna put info in right. the book. And <laughs> and I just right. didn't know what I didn't that's know. That's why no one watches. Call people it's swine. It's a little bit. No one told us. You uncouth, so, unappreciative. <laughs> let's go back. There's yeah. a song in this game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay, we'll get what's going on. Yeah, we'll get into the real teacher. I swear. Go ahead. So we're going. We're going back. So there's crowds. They're important. You want to put your energy there. Yeah. Um, you start off with these song cards, and each player has a different set of song cards. Those uh, are actually how many? Not yours. Oh, but I want, these are but yours. I, but I want them. You only get okay. three, Will. But I like these three. cards. Yes, those <laughs> they are line yours. up, Will. They you got good ones. Them. That's you got the best. Best. But you if you look penny. at these, they're different. Yeah. So it's different playing as different players. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Um, but yeah, it's uh, balanced. Sure. So just no. Trust, 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 trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. It's balanced. Represent what? Um, so these songs are different songs you can play to a crowd. Okay. So depending on the song, like if you really want to win this one for some reason, like maybe you think no one's going to go for this crowd. It's the, the lowest amount of money. Mm -hmm. They're going to go for this big crowd. Right. Um, you might want to play this chill song to them because, mm -hmm. you know, chill mood likes a chill song. Right. Um, and if you look on the song card, um, it gives you the amount of energy that you need for the saxophone, trumpet and drummer. Um, yep. it's a variety of energy depending on the song, mm -hmm. but, um, so for this one, um, it requires one energy from each. So if I was this white player, I just take one energy from each mm -hmm. and then I could choose where to play it. 
So if I want to play here, I'd do this. Um, if I decided to play it somewhere else, like if I decided to play it here, on my next turn, I would have to leave all the cubes here because these moods don't match. Okay. However, because I'm instead playing it here, you don't know what I'm going to do. So we go around and we each play a song, or we can learn a song or pass if we want. But mm -hmm. just imagine that we're all going to like just play a song. Like sure. You're going to play this bead song here. Right. And you take one from each because that's your also one, one, one. Okay. Um, and you're going here. So okay. now I have a choice to make. Like, so I can think like, oh yeah, that one is a lot of money. I actually want to like put my energy in there. So I can either put at least one energy in here. Mm -hmm. Um, it'd probably be better to put two energy in here because if I put in two, I get a you dollar. You get the dollar, yeah. But then I can take this back and redistribute it as I want. Okay. Okay. But if I put all the energy in, I get an extra dollar. Okay. So you and the dollars are the money, and you get to um. You can tip your people to give them more energy with mm -hmm. the money, and mm -hmm. it's victory points. Okay. So the matching symbols, in this case, mm -hmm. the mastery mask, right. uh, it, it buys you leeway. Yes, because it, it gives matches. you a choice, where otherwise you wouldn't have a choice. And, yeah. the, and the cubes represent enthusiasm. Yes, right? the amount of energy. Because like mm -hmm. when you're playing a song, one, it takes time to play, which is why we go all the way around the table mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and you're playing this song. Um, but you also like you don't have to play it that well. Right. You can just do that's the why you're on Thursday. You can phone it in, right? Yeah, you, you can phone it in that. and only put in a certain amount that's of energy because street. you want to like last the entire night. Because if you put in your all for each song, you're not going to be able to play that many songs, and right. you're not going to be able to play at that many locations. Right. Um, but what I like most about this game is the whole fact that you can fake out people, mm -hmm. like because you don't know. Am I going? to like really go hard on this crowd and get right. all the money? Or am I just going to, to meet the threshold and get the dollar so, and go somewhere else? So basically the, uh, this card is just your bid card for the most part. Like you stage it and then put X amount of energy onto it. Mm -hmm. And then the next phase that you go into is where you actually distribute what you're gonna pay or take back. Mm -hmm. But nobody knows how much you're gonna pay or take back mm -hmm. until that second part of it. Yeah, so it's um, it happens based on your turn. So like, yeah. um, I start my turn and I yeah. go here. Yeah. You might learn a song and you won't do anything else. Correct. And we go around and then the first thing you do on your turn is finish playing. Mm -hmm. You take it back. You can't play the song again, so you have to probably learn more songs. Okay. Um, and uh, then you can choose to either play another song somewhere else or learn a, learn a song or just pass if you don't have enough energy. Um, but um, when you do that, you can also um, do that tipping. Like you're like, hey, I want to actually play both of these songs, and mm -hmm. I don't have enough energy for that. So I'm going to give another one to the drummer, and then I can play both of these songs eventually. Interesting. But mm -hmm. doing that means I have one less victory point for the end, so you have to weigh that. When you uh, flip that card over, does that mean it's out until all three are used, or just out gone, as your gone. next? Out for the round. So you, the crowds are very picky. They don't want to hear the same song. Right. Again. So um, you only get three songs to start. You can learn a song um, if um, on your turn you don't want to play somewhere. You can learn a song by taking one energy from each of your players. And then there will be um, a choice of three songs, and you can choose which one to learn. And it's actually pretty good to get these songs because um, all these songs are pretty generic. I mean, they're good, mm -hmm. but other songs can be better. Like this one um, only has... Requires two energy. Yeah, that so, one. That one's good when you're in the street and you're drinking frozen margaritas. Yeah. You're not picky. Yeah, you like you're not anything, picky. You can just you play noise. and get it done. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's probably tequila because you got the drums and the t and the and the, uh, the trumpet only. Mm -hmm. So you got that. Yeah, this one's uh, Mad Dog Twenty Twenty. Yeah, so this one, <laughs> it requires a lot of energy, but it's every sort of mood, so it right. satisfies everyone and right. will allow you to like quickly take over a certain crowd if that's what you want. Okay. Or it'll allow you to quickly like make people think you're going to take over the crowd, mm -hmm. make them change what they're doing, and then you actually go for something else. Interesting. Um, there's also um, standards. Like These are songs that everyone knows how to play. Mm -hmm. But to play the standards, you have to pay. Either a dollar for the first time it's played or two dollars for every subsequent turn on that round. And some of the standards will give you certain abilities. Okay. Um, and these abilities, um, they differ um, per game, but like this one, um, after starting playing, you can learn a song for one less energy instantly. Okay. So um, I actually have a Mardi Gras variant, okay. where instead of just playing with one 
of these ability cards. Mm -hmm. You play with three, and it makes it super crazy. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, that's Mardi, Mardi Gras. That's Mardi, Gras. Mardi Gras, baby. Super crazy. Which, if you didn't know, Mardi Gras is a New Orleans thing. They're big there. Whoa. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> we don't, we won't, don't want we don't to catch anyone off guard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's yeah. very fitting I for a game about New Orleans. Yeah. 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 I just freaked out like a half the people that have been saying that. What is that? What does this have to do with anything? my Mardi Gras. What does that mean? So... Uh, I just want to. I want to sort of walk myself through. So I, I haven't been saying. Uh, on a turn, I have my energy on my my musicians themselves. Mm -hmm. I play a card, and this is romantic to romantic, which would make sense because it gives me the ability to pull back if I want to. Yeah. Uh, I could. I can actually go all, all in if I wanted to, right? But let's say well, we one, don't know one, that. Two. You don't have to make a choice right now. You okay. just have to um, take one, like one from the one for sacks. one for each. Or sorry, yeah. one one two. I need uh, one one two. So one from the drums. Or sorry, one from, one from that. Two from the drums, and one from the bungle on this. I know. It's okay. It's I, okay. Again, this is why I want to. So you put all the energy there. Yeah. And then we would all play our turns. Right. You guys would all play your cards and do the same thing I did. So you, yeah. You have then two songs on one place, right? You yeah, can you can that. have oh, like okay. four. Like so like everybody can go choice, to the one place. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I've seen it where there's actually four at the same place. Mm. So like, which makes it really interesting. Yeah. Like, what does the first player do? Does the second player one up them and the third player one up them? Okay, so that's interesting. Yeah. That like in that case, whoever goes last is kind of at the advantage there. Mm -hmm. kind of how so on the, the second player. part of this. What what do I do with this? Like, what could I what could I do at this point? Could I add more energy to the song? Uh, so you'd have to wait for everyone, right, to go around, put, put their cards down with their energy. Yes. yes. Um, and then you decide: Are you going to put it all in to get an extra dollar, mm -hmm. or put at least one in and then redistribute the rest of the energy? Okay, so so the energy here is locked in. You can't add more energy yeah, you to can't play add a song. More. Okay. So you can't put more energy into like try to trump somebody else with you the can't overpay a song. Oh right? well, no! But what you can That's do is say like, on, okay, so. somebody else went there as well. I'm gonna play another song here. You can do that. Yeah, why uh, not? You can play all your songs you just to the keep, same crowd. Just, to just but it doesn't have to be all over. at once. You can sort of do it your next. Well, it can't be all at once. Okay. Because you can only play one song at, at one time. During your okay, got it. Yeah, got it. It's very. That's like, what I wanted, and that's where I was trying to work right? out like how the, how that works. Because I guess that's where I was kind of confused when I was looking at this. Even uh, initially when I saw it, I was like, how does this really look? So then, uh, then I could either dump all this in, or I could put just one and then bring this back. Or you could put two or three. Oh, okay. Or I, whatever you want. And you? then and then when I put in my two, the next person could put in three. And does that just keep going around? Mm -hmm. Okay. Until um, you pass. So you can pass whenever you feel like. Right. But it usually happens when you run out of energy. So I just want to, could we just demonstrate real quick? Let's say okay. you're purple, I'm yellow, okay? I know this is, might be a little bit backwards. So you're, you be yellow, I'd be purple. How does that sound? Okay. So, so, you're, so we've already played these cards. It's back to you. And then you give us an example of what you would do here. So it depends on if I'm going to go for it or not. Right. Um, if I put in all four, mm -hmm. because I know that you can only, you I are only going to put three right now. Um, I would get a dollar. Mm -hmm. But if I put in three of them, we could tie. Mm -hmm. And ties are friendly, so we would both win the four dollars if that ends how the round oh, is. It's friendly, not split. So yeah. it's interesting. And three would give me two dollars. So if no one else plays here, mm -hmm. I would get six dollars, and that'd be pretty cool. And then I could bring this energy back right. and play somewhere else. Now, what, okay, so then it went, then I, let's say you did that. So then I, have, I would, yeah. well, before you go, okay. I'm going to do another thing. Okay. I'm going to do this to show you that actually you are you have no chance here. Unless you play there again. You have no chance. So you now my best. option is basically I pretty much would have to sort of match you here, right? If well, I just so pull, if it I depends just pull, on what you want to do. Yeah. But well, um, your this songs mood don't doesn't match. So you so have right. to put oh, I have to put them all in. Because you love but then you have yeah. another, you do have but another heart song. But you do have a romantic song, so, so you out. could play here again. Right, and then. If that's what you want. And so if I. And you'd be able to match your four. Right, yeah. if I did that, and then when I would match your four, we're pretty much going match, match mm -hmm. for match at this point. And then one of us might run out of songs at some point. Right? Yeah, yeah, well, there's, you only start with three songs. So right. unless you learn something, right. you can only play the three. But you right. can play you the standards. Mm -hmm. um, but I have to pay, do you start with any money? You start with three money. And that's three of these, right? Yeah. And then, so these are one value, these are five value? Yeah. Got it. Okay. But only in the deluxe edition. 
only in the oh, yeah. No, these the are rest your you, have, you have to write on a notepad. They'll be better. They'll be better. All right. Um, cool. I just wanted to make sure that I went through the motions of it because I was kind of confused when I was looking at it before, and I, I want to make sure that everybody watching has a good idea of like the flow of it. Now, instead of playing the song in a turn, I could then go here and purchase a song. Yeah, you could learn a song. I can learn a song. And learning a song, I don't purchase these. I only have to purchase this one. Um, so the ability songs will never be able to be purchased. They'll right. be standards. Okay. Which are um, the things that everyone knows, but right. you have to pay money to play. Right, but you, it just stays there, yeah. and you would just pay whatever money you want and say, I am playing this song. So and if you want to play it, you're like, hey, I'm going to pay a dollar. Mm -hmm. It's gone now, mm -hmm. and I'm going to play this wherever okay. I want. Okay. It actually will have this token on there, and okay. then um, you'll flip it. So the next player has to pay two instead. That card, I can't see it from here. What does that card say? After start, after starting playing, you can learn a song from one for, for one, one less energy instantly. Okay. Uh, and how long does that effect apply? Um, so this one in particular, um, just after you start playing, which is um, starting playing is just setting the card there. Mm -hmm. You can do it. Okay. And okay. then it's done. For the, okay. Is it a one use or for the, the whole round? That one. Uh, well, you just you can do learn it. a song. Okay. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. But if you want to do it again, you can play the song again. Got it. And there's a variety. Um, there's going to be six different ability cards in the base game. Okay. And I'm working on a couple more as well for the exclusive people. But mm. you have to sign up for the mailing list. Right, and that. and that would be at uh, weirdgiraffegames.com or weirdgiraffe.com. Uh, weirdgiraffegames.com okay. slash exclusive will lead you directly there. All right, and when will that be available? Now. now, go, go sign up go for there the mailing now. list. Uh, and then if you sign up for the mailing list, it, you'll, they'll get exclusive links uh, when the campaign goes live that tells you that they were a part of that, right? Or That's such well, a win-win. Well, it's a mailing list. A mailing list. Oh, so, yeah. you just, so I know their emails. <laughs> yeah. And their and names. And your information. And where you she, live. She knows, your, she knows the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, unless you don't put it in. Right. It just seems like such a win-win. If people are interested in the game anyway, right. they want to have it and you get something. Why would you not want to? Correct. It's, you know, and even if you're on the fence, just sign up and I'll tell you when it launches. Yeah. 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 So. Um, excellent. Uh, so a way, the, the way you win is the most money at the end, of, at the end yes. of X amount of rounds. What triggers end game? Um, so you go through three rounds. Uh -huh. Thursday night is three crowds. Friday night is four crowds. Mm -hmm. And Saturday night is five crowds. Oh, big day Saturday. Okay. So if you don't learn any songs, mm -hmm. You just have your three. You have to choose where to play the three and then maybe pay to play the standards. Got it. So um, the first like two rounds are kind of practice-y. Like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. let's take some time. Let's learn some songs. Right. And, so I can prepare for the big Saturday right. night and pull ahead. Got it. Okay. Okay. This would be ripe for like a uh, Sunday brunch expansion. <laughs> when everyone has a hangover, <laughs> they just order mimosas. Back to one song. All, the, all, all they want is chill music. Yeah, just that yeah. one. They all want chill. You're, you're so tired. <laughs> you don't have any energy left. They might still be here from last night. You never yeah. know. This makes a lot more sense. This is the second time I've heard the rules explained. These yeah. being songs that you're playing and you're imbuing the energy to really win it and get the uh, the rewards of it. Right. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, and, and, that's, and, and the, the higher energy song that you choose... Because I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure you can push more energy onto it after you put it up. But since you can't, it behooves you to put the highest energy song if you're trying to get the most money off of that ground. Yeah. So it's a, you have to be able to plan that first, because you can't alter it later. You can alter how much you pull away from it, but not how much it goes in. So that's important, important distinction. Can I ask one last question? I'm no, sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. How, how does group play differ from the solo variant? Ah. Okay, so the group play I think is really great because like everyone goes around and. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, they trick me into thinking they're doing something else. <laughs> um, but games. the solo mode, um, I have three robot players okay. that I actually didn't bring. But um, okay. they're um, different cards where um, you play your turn as normal, and then you look at the robot card. Mm -hmm. um, you only play one robot at once because um, each robot um, kind of emulates a different player type. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's a player type that just follows you everywhere. They're kind of like your groupie band. Okay. Try to like. Oh, you're going here. I'm also going. I'm going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's really quick and fast. Um, I try to make solos where you don't have to care about their energy. Like, uh, it's not on it. Like, like their energy right. is just a pile. You take what the card says and mm. go for it. Can you play one robot, or can I can I play two ro robots against me? This um, stealing, not right? at the current mm. one, but I can try. It. Like, uh. right now the robots are tough enough that no one has 
wanted any more toughness. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. They're kind of. Um, I've been told that my robots are jerks. Mm. <laughs> that's so, a good. That's a good thing though. That's so, engaging yeah. solo play. Here's well, a yeah, for like, you. but I can't imagine like. It's really hard for me to beat the robot that I designed. Yeah. Oh, so not even you know the ins and outs so, of it. Well, the I robot mean, it really sentient. depends. Yeah. <laughs> um, so one of the cool things about the robot is that, um, well, you get your song cards, but then it its song deck becomes um, all the other players that aren't playing. Mm -hmm. So like, you don't know what song it's going to choose because it has its own deck and you can't possibly know everything. Mm -hmm. right. So what it does is based right. off of um, what you have done, but also um, what icon is up here. Mm. And if you are playing kind of poorly, it will start learning more songs and gaining more mm. of the good icons. Very interesting. Very so, interesting. When you design your solos, yeah. do, you, do you say, I want a 10% win percentage, or you just kind of find something that actually works and mm. it inherently is fun, and that's what I go for? Um, so I start off with usually what are player types? Like, um, oh, like what would you what would you encounter? So you emulate a personality type that you would play against. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's the player types. Like in this game, you can try to get the threshold on everything. So mm. there's a player t or a robot that just goes here and huh. it will continue going here until it's met the threshold, <laughs> and then it'll go here, and then it'll go there. Right. Well, to depending it. on. Um, what icons? Do you have a robot who, like, half the time is just on their cell phone while you're trying to play? <laughs> I, I, I kind of encounter that one a lot. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a robot that never listens to the rules and, that, yeah. and it complains yeah. the entire yeah. time that, yeah. that they never top of the rules. <laughs> <laughs> you one of those? One of those robots? There is not one of well, those. Well, no, no, no. no. You good. hide rules from us. Yeah, right. You okay. don't not teach us. All right, then. Um, <laughs> like, then... He likes to hold back the important stuff so it benefits him. That's, mm -hmm. that's how Will likes to explain his rules. Let's see how it is. Oh, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. No, 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 no. Why not? Well, oh, because in the rules. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you didn't tell anybody that. I've been playing the whole game. All right, Dave. All right, Dave. Let Carla talk. <laughs> <laughs> fine, um, fine. I guess this is about her. Fine. Um, <laughs> so basically, I, I think about what the player would do, and I write up like a list of commands for yeah. the robot, and then I play it, and I normally make them way too hard. Mm. Um, so I actually, so um, this one has five different degrees. Mm. What do you mean by that? Um, so you can choose to do like the following robot, um, easy mode, oh, okay. and then there's medium and hard and super hard, and then oh, there's luck. like, yeah, good luck. For good luck. <laughs> um, so uh, because like when I was going, I was like, oh, okay, this it could be easier if I did this to it or if I made it do this instead. Right. Mm -hmm. So you just do minor tweaks and you can get a slightly harder or easier game. Mm -hmm. I Very really cool. suggest starting on easy because I'm not sure I would really describe easy as easy. easy. Yeah. easy. Can you imagine. But yeah. it's the easiest option. Interesting. Very good. I mean, and and we talked about this before, but you're really well known for your, your solo work uh, across, I mean, the industry at this point, honestly. Mm -hmm. And what... Uh, I mean, how does it? Feel? I'm gonna. I'll bring this up now. But how does it feel to sort of carry that now? Like if you, you, after after uh, Final Library and, and other designs you've done, what what does it feel like to sort of have that mantle to replace the pony? Is it rewarding? Does it make you nervous? I don't know. Tell us. Um, tell us what's like. I don't think that I really acknowledged it. Like really? you say that, and I'm like, oh, maybe. Is that me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's like more the imposter syndrome. Like I, I think, yeah, yeah, and we and that's that's been coming up a lot. Have you have you seen that? I mean, it's all it's usually in Twitter feeds and stuff. But imposter syndrome, you're familiar with it? Mm, yeah. Uh, I mean, we we go through it a lot as content creators. I do. Yeah, you, but you, I have, you have no that, standards. Yeah, you have those. You have that false bravado. So, I mean, like, <laughs> I, I, I don't even do you even like do you even think that? No, I'm, but I, I think as as content creators, we go through a lot of it of the same way. I, as a designer, I've gone through it in my job over 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 my lifetime. I've gone through that a lot. The imposter syndrome, like, do I actually belong here? Uh, Isn't a lot of life really do I just belong? standing yeah. at the precipice? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and boy. just being like, you know, this ain't it. <laughs> Yeah. And then going right in. Right. No. I, I, yeah. I, I mean, it I mean, is. ain't about playing it safe. Yeah. It, it, you can't. You, you really can't. Because once you fall into that complacency, mm -hmm. I think that's when you go, that's when you go take you to the dark place, right? Yeah. And that's it, why you're you. Because you take, you know, you're not an imposter, place. you're a doer. Right. That's yeah. Stop doers. it. Stop I, it. Yeah. You're better. I think <laughs> I just don't focus on, like, results enough. Right. You do. I just I I make the thing and then I make the next thing That's and I make the next right. thing. And it's hard to know like like actually look like 
it's really awesome every time I get a prototype and I'm like, mm -hmm. whoa, I made all of this art happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. No, um, I gotta say, yeah, I mean, back. this might be getting a little bit too philosophical on it, but like with the imposter, we just, the imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. really what it is is saying, if, if somebody thinks that they're an imposter, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're giving the weight too much on the other, on people outside of yourselves yeah. and wondering what their judgment is. The, the gap between who you want to be and how you perceive yourself, that gap is based on the feedback of what you think they might think. Sure. And why hand that power to another person? Absolutely. You know, I, I, that makes no sense to me. But also in the void of, of no sound and, and no feedback, you it, feel, it creeps up. Yeah, that's, you, what, that's, yeah. where, that's where the you decision creeps up, up more because with, that, with the lack We're of feedback, there. Your you know your 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 yeah. it is uh, sorry we're going you're, deep you're, it's okay uh, your mind manufactures that it become you become your own worst uh, critic yeah right? like that's the problem I have it's right. like actually uh, I went to therapy and like I've been trying to get rid of like that's that right. that I think voice have, in your head because yeah. mm -hmm. like there's just that negative voice where like I've actually gotten it to like just say like normal things or not, maybe like <laughs> not the crazy neutral. yeah not, not like, like the... oh you did okay today You're like good. but like. Yeah. Like it took like a lot of effort yeah. instead of like, oh gosh, every day is a shit day. Like, why can't you be better at everything? <laughs> yeah, like, like, why can't you get like you right. only did forty eight things today? Yeah. Like, why didn't you get done fifty two? Right. Like, I right. think, and and just from my own experiences, mm -hmm. um, I remember I used to be like, ah, oh, that could be. I was really harsh, almost to the point like when I was playing shows, mm -hmm. like I never enjoyed it, mm -hmm. and I made other the people playing with me not enjoy it. Right. Because I was like, you know what, you missed that bum note on the thing. And uh, someone said to me one time, they were like, you know, no musician worth their salt mm -hmm. ever feels like they did good enough. So very true. You're not alone in this. Yeah. And actually realizing I wasn't alone in that feeling mm -hmm. took a lot of the, oh, okay. Right. I, that was part, I think part of it was like, it's not good enough. And like, what's, what's going on with me? Why am I this way? But I'm right. like, oh, it's a common feeling. I'm not alone in this. And I found relief in that feeling. Yeah. Anyway. Which, which is why I think it's very important that with between content creators and designers within our community, that sharing that's been going on yeah. is a continual process and a healing process for those who are going through that rough stuff. So if you guys are watching out, watching this now, know that you're not the only ones that go through that. The imposter syndrome that everybody talks about, I think everybody at this table has gone through that at mm -hmm. some point in their life and is, or is still going through it in their life. So you'll get through it. Don't worry about it. You're better than you think you are. Let's put it that Yay. way, right? Yeah. Right? Come call it from right. the box art is be happy. Be yeah, right, right. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. We went to some existential yeah, stuff. Yeah. Dark places. And that's okay. Yeah. And that's okay. Happen. That's what life is about. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for showing me. Yes, yes thank you for We look so forward to yeah. uh, Always a pleasure. Sorry for being late. April 30th, you said, that. right? April 30th. Yes. yes. Go to um, weirddraftgames.com slash exclusive. Yes. Check it out. Thank you guys yes. so much. Thank you for uh, watching. We will, we will have our next guest here in just a moment. Oceans Second. is here from North Star. Yay! Yay. So, Yay. so we're going to go ahead and uh, go to break real quick, and we'll set that up for you guys.